today on the Road Hard Roadhouse. The five things I like about my Spartan RZ Pro 54 inch ZTR and the five things I dislike about it. Let's get it started. Let's start with number one. I call it the grass clipping toss. This thing tosses grass clippings. The, baff the new baffling system that is underneath the 2020 RZ Pros and I'm sure on the, all, the, all the other uh, Spartan mowers is phenomenal. I mean, it will zap those things into like little rice. It'll cut that stuff up to like it's like rice size. And it is awesome. The only bad thing about that, which I don't really consider it bad because it really zaps up that dang uh, grass, is that the fact that if the wind is blowing and you turn a corner, you're going to get all that little rice size grass whatever all over you but that's not really a bad thing when you consider that i don't have any grass clippings in my yard here's a picture from their catalog regarding the xtf new baffling system that's underneath the mower the number two thing i like or love about my 2020 spartan rz pro is the headlight now i got this free on Memorial Day, they were giving them out for free as some sort of advertisement. And man, I love it. I was going to buy one anyway. You can buy them for about $199 through Spartan or through uh, your dealer that you get it through. But let me show you what this actually does. Now, I'll show you a clip from night. I hope you can hear me. This is the light bar. You can definitely mow at night with this thing. out to the side Let's see if I can get out on the road and I'll show you okay take you around the yard to show you. third thing I love about this Spartan is you can find the accessories in the magazines and at the, the dealerships where you can buy almost everything that's on the big mowers you can put on your small mowers so if you want all that shock system and stuff on yours available on all models it tells you exactly what it is that you have I have this on mine on the RZ and it tells you which ones you can upgrade to this one's available on the RZ models This is that headlight that I love so much. This might be handy. Don't know if I want chrome exhaust, but hey. Not such a bad deal when you can buy all this other all this stuff on it. there's a lot more if you want a spoiler you can get a spoiler that's some pretty fancy stuff right there now as far as the accessories that I might like to have on my mower that I don't have right now probably be a tow hitch and you know on this as far as the uh, chute here I'm 
got a manual shoot system. They've got a manual shoot system that you, you can uh, use from your seat where there's a lever where you can actually deal with the chute by being up on the seat. That I would be interested in looking at and see if that can help me out. But as far as that goes, I'm very happy with this mower. It's got everything I need at the moment. The fourth thing I like and love about this mower is the deck, the welded deck. Get Always get a fabricated welded deck. It is not worth your time to get anything that's just been molded or whatever you want to call it. Now here's the deal. A lot of the mowers nowadays that are of this caliber are going to a thinner deck. They're more like three inch deep deck and that is not good. Especially if you have a lot of land that you're mowing a lot. Because if you're mowing a lot and you have uh, you don't have the perfect grass that three inch deck is not going to do very well for you. And what this does is that with this five inch deck and then the uh, baffling system that is underneath the deck it actually throws up the grass and cuts it up a ton more. Like I was saying before, it comes out in like rice size pieces. So this is phenomenal. Now, this is also a seven gauge deck. Most of the other decks that you're gonna be looking at are gonna be 11 gauge. And if you wanna look at the difference between 11 gauge and seven gauge, you're gonna be impressed. So for the Spartan RZ Pro, and I'm sure on most of the other Spartans, you got a seven gauge deck. Love it. Okay, here's the difference between the seven gauge and the 10 gauge, just to give you an idea. The fifth thing that I love about this 2020 Spartan RZ Pro is the thick metal tubing. The frame is thick. My bush hog that you might've seen a video that I've done on before that was my older one is way thinner. Look at this, that tubing is thick and it goes all the way around. So you're talking about a very sturdy frame. The sturdier the frame, the more it's gonna be dealing with your bumps and all that type of stuff. Now I told you I was only gonna give you five things that I liked. But I'm going to give you a sixth. It doesn't really deal with the mower per se. It deals with the fact that it's a 54 inch, which I did not have a 54 inch before. It gets so much more done. I, I knocked off 50% of my mow time going from a 42 to a 54. And Kawasaki motor. I'm telling you, it's worth the 200 extra bucks for uh, the Kawasaki motor. I wouldn't have it any other way. Love the shock system on it. Love the radial tires. They really help you get out of ditches a lot quicker. ZTRs have been known and been prone to have issues in ditches and those radial tires in the back, that's a upgrade this year, is great. I love what Spartan is doing with their mowers. He is improving every single year. Okay, now for the things that I dislike about the mower. Number one thing I dislike about the mower, not necessarily in the right order, is the fact that it's a 5.5 gallon fuel tank. My other mowers have had about almost 10 gallons, and there is a 9.5 gallon tank that they do have for these Spartans. So I'm going to ask if I can, uh, if they can maybe put a tank up underneath this thing. If I can get a tank that would fit without any issues, I might go ahead and do that. If I can't, you know, it's getting the same fuel mileage about as my other one did, but you just have to fill it up every uh, three weeks or so instead of every two months. So I, that's the one thing that I, uh, makes it a little bit more labor intensive on this mower than it was my other one filling up the fuel yeah maybe that's a small thing but none of these things that I'm talking about in my five dislikes are things that I actually hate 
It may be things I dislike, but they're just mild discomforts. This mower has been great. The second thing I dislike about this mower is that the baffling system in here doesn't allow you to get really close to the trees. So if you're mowing and trying to get really up close to a tree, it might not allow you to. There's about two or three inches of that that won't get really close. And you can see I've got a lot of little trees. The third thing I dislike about the mower and it's mild creature discomfort and I'll be able to get it looked at when I take it in for the uh, maintenance is that the throttle level he seems to be moving down. It seems to be really tight, but if as I'm going along in the yard, it moves down here into this second position. So I'm losing speed, I'm sure, and I'm losing the RPMs on the deck. So that kind of concerns me. It happened on my other lawnmower as well, and I got everything retightened in here and it fixed everything. But as far as this one's brand new, and it seems to be a little it seems to be tight, but it is going down a little bit as I'm driving. So I'm going to have that looked at by my dealer. The fourth thing I dislike about this mower is the decals. Come on, Spartan. You are badass. This is one of the baddest ass mowers I've ever been on. You're not going to cut your name into the dang mower? Come on now. As a consumer, I want you to be cocky about your product. I want you to be the baddest mower on the planet and I want to buy that mower. But the fact that you're putting stickers on here instead of cutting it out of the metal like your uh, last company does tells me, you know, it kind of worries me that maybe you're not going to be in, maybe you're not going to be in business for a long time, you know? I, or that you're selling your mower to other companies to put their name on it because they can just throw a decal on it. I want you to be cocky. Your last business said that you mow with an attitude. Well, I want an attitude out of this. The mower is attitude enough. It looks like it should have a 50 cal mounted on the front of it. But as far as the decals, not happy with the decals. But I will tell you, decals don't mow the yard. Okay, and the fifth thing that I dislike about this mower, or it's a mild discomfort as well, is the fact that this chute will eventually start falling over bumpy terrain. Now, I've tried to tighten these bolts, and they do not tighten any tighter than what they are. And I don't want to mess anything up. I'm going to talk to the dealer about this, but they do come down over bumpy terrain. And... The, they have an accessory that you can buy for this mower that is a manual chute that comes down over it and it has a lever and that that would end all my issues right there but if I can get this to where it's tighter I wouldn't need to buy that now I love this mower there's a lot of great things about it and there's a few discomforts that I don't like about it but I will tell you over this I will tell you this, I'll probably buy another one. This warranty runs three years. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about it in three years. At this point right now, I might buy the one that's $1,000 more than this sucker right here. I appreciate everybody for watching, liking, subscribing. I do have other videos on this mower. I'm getting ready to do a 10 hour review on it. I just got 10 hours on it. I bought it on Memorial Day weekend. And I do wanna tell you that the light system that I said was given to me in this video was given to me because I bought it on Memorial Day weekend. That was a uh, an ad or a promotion that they did on Memorial Day weekend, and I bought it Memorial Day weekend. So that, just wanted to clear that up so you don't think you can walk over to Spartan and get one for free. I'm not paid by Spartan. I love the product, but I'm not paid any which way by Spartan. But I will tell you this, I love this thing.
And again, thank you for your watching, liking, and subscribing. And as always, if you ride her hard, don't put her away wet. This thing, I keep it inside.